Throughout the love of God, spayed and neuter your animals. R.I.P. Bob Barker. All right, so we're back inside our Steam Deck. We got our heat shield off. Um, what we're doing right now is we're actually test fitting this copper plate, and this is not going to work. I thought maybe if we could tie it into this whole thing, it, it would work better, which it will, but it will not close whatsoever. So what I was just thinking was possibly a merely doing a compression fit with this copper plate because I did a test fit and it's tight inside a steam deck. It's extremely, extremely tight in here. Um, and real quick caveat with the JSOX plate that's going to be on this side, I don't think that aluminum sh plate is going to be very thick. I think it might be maybe a millimeter or half a millimeter thick because after just playing around with this a little bit, um, I'm noticing that that um, there's really no room in here. So I think we can get away with just a simple compression fit. But one thing we have to keep in mind is that this is actually holding the APU down, this um, longer screw right here. So we wanna make sure this thing is screwed in. And as for the other screws, um, I think they're just to screw the motherboard down, but and keep everything from sliding around. But the only issue is I don't know what the depth is on here, but hopefully it'll still screw in place. We're gonna we're gonna rock it a little lower than we did prior, just like just like that. Which we are is that enough compression? Yeah. Once we put this heat this case in, this thing is not going anywhere. Like literally, this thing. This thing is like, it's not moving. This thing is not moving. So we're just gonna pop this case back on. It should close all the way. I just tested it. There we go. Sweet. And we'll see how well this thing uh, holds temp. So we, we did it before and it took a long, long time for the steam deck to heat up. Let's see how much of that heat that copper plate's able to absorb. Um, and I'm not really not worried about it moving around. That thing is is pretty stuck in place. I would like for it to have a little bit more compression, but I think this. I think we're gonna be okay. I think we're gonna be okay. Let's crank on. Oh, my sticky tape thing is not working. We're going to go full tilt on the fan. So we're doing full tilt. Oh, wow. So definitely uh, by far our best numbers we've ever gotten. And it's warmer in this room. It's 20.5 20 20 degrees Celsius. Obviously, we haven't hit that 10 minute mark yet. Um, but man... I don't think I'll drop lower than this, but 67, 69 um, on a CPU, GPU, obviously we're not moving, but we're trying to keep everything consistent. 3,400 RPMs on a fan, that's huge. But as you can tell, we can hear this thing and I'll be quiet real quick. It's all sacrifice for more noise. So you got to choose more performance or more noise, performance or noise. It just feels like um, you, you, you can't go too far over on either end of the spectrum. Um, but I think you just got to find that medium. And I guess that's what we're going to be looking for. So let me take these numbers down. And what we're going to do next, I'm pretty sure this is going to hold. Um, we're going to we're going to drop the fan speed to 50 and see if we see any changes been running for barely five minutes and i'm already noticing like the temps are jumping 70 71 i just saw there but mostly 69 to 70. Uh, fan speed has gone up to 3700 rpms so i don't know i think i'm gonna call it you know 70 72 only because uh without the fans on we were 71 73 
at 3,700 RPM. So I doubt we're gonna go up in fan speed. I think the CPU is gonna be pegged there and the GPU. So we're only a delta of one without the fan speed. So I think this is pretty much where it's gonna to wanna to stay. 70, 72, just according to the, the no fan version plate. We're gonna go ahead and strip it back down and put these heat sinks. And we're gonna put the little heat sinks on our Steam Deck. And one thing you wanna do before you do this and is mainly, you what you wanna do is you wanna clean off the heat sinks. So you could just use some rubbing alcohol. This is I believe 70%. It's fine, there is some water in this, but that's fine. It, it clears up really quick. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wipe off all the chipsets, chiplets, chipsets. Just because thermal pads always leave a residue. Especially the controller it's still not holding on properly um, that I don't know why but hopefully this tape um, will hold it in place while we do it because the last thing I want is any of these um, heat sinks to be rolling around while this thing is on because we could short the board and then it's goodbye steam deck and I think it's two weeks to order a new one so oh my god it is raining like a motherfucker out there so we're going to be super duper ginger with this because I really don't want these heat sinks to pop off. Okay, cool. All right, so it's heating up pretty quick. Like I said, don't want to heat up your system like this. I just cannot be bothered to wait that long. Okay, since the room is a little bit colored today, I think 79, 77 here are pr pretty... Um, good temps for this so systems heating up we're gonna let it cool down on its own yeah run on 16.5 <clears throat> on average so it's calmed down <laughs> uh, it's the room temperature 100 percent the room temperature while we're seeing such low heats but we're not really what we want to see really is the delta between the fan and the no fan I know this is going to get cooled a lot quicker already because we're exposing the whole system um, to to with active cooling. Yeah, this heat shield is no longer bottling up heat. It's like it's not bottling up heat anymore. So, so we were able to cool every single component. So let's we'll call it sixty. Still, the fan speed's dropping. Temps is staying the same. So we're going to call it sixty-eight. 70 and then the fan is at 34 we're at 50 percent on the fan i'm expecting this thing to cool down quite a bit just because everything is now exposed we can already see the cpu drop a little bit in temp we're gonna hit that time lapse let this run for about five or so minutes and see if we can get these temps to drop any lower all right wow um 68 on a cpu obviously the room is a lot cooler today it is 16.5 degrees in here. On our last test, it was um, 20.5, so a lot warmer, um, cooler than then. Um, I'm gonna take these numbers, 66. If they all, yeah, I, I'm gonna call it 66, because this, yeah. we'll do the max temp, so 67. 67, 68, which is ridiculous. Fan speed still at 3,400 RPMs. I know we could probably left it a little bit longer, but I think it, I think we're there. I think we're there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and crank this thing to the max. So this is a full 100% on All right, the fan. guys, uh, this is kind of fucking stupid uh, because I've never seen temps this low before. Uh, makes me wanna fucking keep my Steam Deck like this. Uh, it is at 62 on the GPU. That's the max temp I've been seeing. The room temp, is I think a little bit higher than before. 
It's around 17.5 now. Um, GPU is at 60. I've used it. I'm gonna call 62 because I've seen it jump at 63, but it's usually at 62 the whole time. Um, and 64 on the CPU and 2900 RPMs on the stock fan. Obviously, this is a lot louder. I actually did the DB, it's 47 right at the screen and 38 at probably you know your normal head level. But fucking ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous. I did not expect it to work this good. Clearly, the room's a lot cooler today uh, than any other day. Uh, but it, this is just stupid. I did not expect this whatsoever. All right. I was thinking I wasn't going to do... Oh, let's... You know what? Before I talk anymore, let's go... Let's get into the downloads. So I definitely feel like a game show host now because um, I have this mic. It's a, which is a boom mic that I, I've had for a while, which is broken, hence I'm holding it. And I'm doing this because, um, that, remember that one guy that left that comment saying uh, my audio sucks? Well, I, well, I did this one for you, so you're welcome. <laughs> All right, guys. So we got a lot to talk about, and I'm going to try to make these things a lot quicker uh, because my videos are very, very long. And I know that. And I think we should try to keep them under 30 minutes. And hopefully we'll do that for this one. But I haven't edited it yet because I'm still filming and I'm still talking. So that means this is probably going to be a 45 minute long video. All right. <laughs> so let's talk about what we got with the copper mod. Um, we'll talk about what's going on over here next. Copper mod. Room 20.5 for all testing. So we had the copper right in there um, without the heat shield, which was better overall, in my opinion, and in the testing. Um, 20.5 degrees, we had a 7173 on a CPU at 3800 RPMs with no fan. I'm talking about the intake fan, and with the intake fan at 50%, we had uh, 70 and 72 with a fan speed of 3700. 72 was the CPU to be exact, and same room temp. Uh, cop, uh, the copper again with a uh, full tilt fan speed, same room temp, 20.5, 67, and 69 on the C CPU with a fan speed of 3,400. So clearly a lot better with the fan on, but remember the fan on full tilt is about 47 decibels up close and 38 decibels uh, right where your normal gaming distance. So you decide whether that noise is worth it. But let's just talk about the temps because the numbers don't lie. Um, we're looking at a delta with a fan off and full tilt of four. So a delta of four. So four degrees cooler on both the GPU and CPU. 71 to 67, 73 to 69. And a decrease of 400 RPMs on the stock fan, which ultimately doesn't matter because that uh, new fan, the intake fan that we put in, is louder. Um, probably should have that thing propped up. So you guys know what we're talking about. I really feel like a game show host. Um, I don't know where to put this. Where do I put this? Can I set this right here? There you go. Look at us. Oh, right. So overall, there's kind of no point, in my opinion, to run the fan at 50% with this current mod. Um, you're better doing all or nothing. So meaning no fan at all, meaning you go fanless, or you have a fan, you full tilt it. Full, full, full tilt. Full send. Full send. Okay, now here's the fun spot. Here's the fun stuff. Um, heat sink mods. Boy, did it do good. And that is an understatement. It did phenomenal. So let's talk about what we did here. You saw the video. We just glooped all this stuff together. We had a big issue with the controller staying in place. And you do not want one of these things to fall off while you're gaming it will short your board more than likely will short your board so your boy has ordered thermal adhesive and we're gonna glue this bitch we're gonna glue this bitch and we're never gonna look back but before we do that we do have to do some other testing so um unfortunately that one's gonna have to wait because i guarantee most of you, including myself, are going to continue to rock your Steam Deck in this configuration, exact configuration, with the fan, with the heat sinks, because the temperatures are ridiculous. 
ridiculously good. So good. And imagine when we change the thermal paste and all that stuff, it's probably only gonna run better. I'm super excited to, um, to take that on. So enough talking about it. Let's look at the numbers. Uh, so let's talk about the numbers. Heat sinks, uh, no fan, 16.5 room temps, 68, 70 on the CPU, fan speed of 3,400. Not bad. Very, very good. Extremely good. Room is pretty, pretty cold, pretty chilly today. Um, I honestly, I don't think it was 16.5. I think it was closer to 17 in my, uh, my opinion. Um, I don't know why I, I feel that way. It was closer to 17 than anything, but heat sinks at 50%. This room temp 16.5, GPU 67, uh, CPU 68. We finally, finally broke that 69 barrier on the CPU and we got to 68. But remember the, the room is a lot cooler than it typically is. Fan speed 3,400, amazing result. And then we blew the fucking wig off. I mean, we blew it. I mean, it blew it hard. And that fan blew extremely hard because it was at 100%. We have a room temperature 17.5. GPU temp 62. CPU 64. Crazy. Fan speed 2900 RPMs on the stock fan. This boy was only going 2900 RPMs. Ridiculous numbers. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, amazing numbers. Remember the decibel fan noise is still about 47 decibels up close, 38 normal playing distance. So we're gonna call it 38 decibels at normal distance, probably a little bit lower uh, because mine was on a desk. So you have more of the echo bouncing off the desk. So if you're like on the couch with this thing on your lap, that's not gonna be a big problem. All right, so last numbers I'm gonna throw out is the no mod stock form at room temperature 19.4 so we had an increase of two degrees at that testing our gpu was 78 and our cpu was 81 with a fan speed of 5100 rpms that is hot and that is loud but even though that is hot and loud i want you guys to remember that's completely safe to run your steam deck at those temps it was created and meant to operate those temps um, there's no need for you to be at 62, 64, unless you want it to run quieter, cooler for longevity. I just want you all to remember that, that you do not actually super need to do this mod, but if you're an enthusiast like me, uh, go for it, uh, but do it out of your own risk. So back to what I was saying, we have a Delta. If we don't take temperature in for consideration, we have a Delta of 17 degrees. Then we do it. Then if we take it uh, with uh, room temperature in consideration, we have a delta of 15. Let's see, but long story short, this thing fucking works, guys. It was impeccable. I did not expect this thing to work so well. But other than that, we are going to continue modding this. Um, the thermal glue comes in. We're going to make this a permanent statement. But before that, we do have to run some other tests before we start gluing heat sinks, even though I want to do it because it works so much better. But we got to do some testing with some Peltiers and uh, other con uh, other configurations where you, you, the viewer, wouldn't have to do something as crazy as this, which is not that crazy, but you do have to be careful to make sure that those heat sinks don't make contact with certain key areas because you could fry your motherboard. Um, but... We got to do the Peltier. We're going to do the dock. So I think the next one's going to come up is the fanless version of this that has a dock form, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, that's going to be rocking all stock form. And then what we're going to do after that is we're going to make our dock with a Peltier. And um, after that, I think, I, I think we're done. I think we've thrown the book at this. And what we're going to do is start refining the product, which is probably going to be a variation of these two. Um, and go from there because I think there's going to be two ways that we're going to run this system. Um, it's either going to be in this configuration or stock with, with an intake and a dock that is combined with it that has a fan built in so that you don't have to worry about too much bulk. And that's the next one we're going to do. But before I start talking too long, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like. If you loved it, hit that sub 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 subscribe. <laughs> but other than that, my name is Nas, aka DIY Poppy. I'll catch you guys on the next one.